Ladies and boys and girls, today we are diving into an awesome tutorial on how to create the simple motion graphics in Premiere Pro that will level up your videos. Don't worry, if you are a beginner, this is super easy to follow and I have got all the project files linked in the description below. If you find this video useful, smash the like button, hit subscribe and if you enjoy some short stories and 3D reels, check out my Instagram page and give it a follow. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get into the video. First thing first, let's set up our project. Head out to the new item and set a sequence. In the settings, go for 1080 horizontal and 920 vertical. Hit OK. And we are ready to roll. Now let's create a background. Go to the new item, set a color mat and pick a sharp white color. Click OK. Then drag this mat onto your timeline. Boom, our background is set. Drop a grid overlay image on top of the color mat. Head to the effect controls, adjust the rotation to 90 degree and scale it up to fit nicely. Next, add a grunge video overlay on top. Rotate to 90 degrees, scale it up. and dial the opacity down to 60% for the subtle texture vibe. Select all three layers, right click and choose Nest Sequence. Rename it as Background. Let's bring in some scenery. Add a mountain image above the background nest. Scale it to fit. Then set a keyframe for position and move it down. Tip a few frames forward and set another keyframe and slide it up for some smooth motion. Select both keyframes, right click and choose temporal interpolation, continuous base here for that buttery smooth animation. Tweak the graph to get it just right. Now head to the FX panel and add a tint effect to the mountain. Again go to the FX panel and add levels. Play with the levels to boost the vibe. Next, let's add some flare with the sun image below the mountain layer. Set keyframe from position, place it down low, then move a few frames forward and bring it up for a rising effect. Apply continuous base here to those keyframes and tweak the graph for smooth motion. Let me trim the sun clip to make the timing right. Now for some serious creativity. Add a hand image on top. And nest it. Now we'll call the nest layer to open it. Adjust the scale and position and add a black solid layer at the bottom to help you see better. Nest the scroll layer, then double click to open it. Grab the rectangle mask tool under the opacity
create a mask and check inverted under mask options duplicate the skull layer by holding alt or option on a mac and dragging it up and check inverted on the top layer rename these layers for clarity something like skull inverted and skull normal for the top skull layer move the anchor point to where you want to rotate if you don't see the anchor point just click on this motion right here set keyframe for rotation position then jump a few frames forward adjust the rotation to 90 degrees and tweak the position Apply continuous base here to those keyframes for smooth motion. Head back to the hand sequence. Delete the black solid layer and return to the main sequence. Set keyframe to animate the hand from top to bottom. If the skull animation feels too slow, go back to the skull nurse sequence and tighten up those keyframes. Let's add some detail. Drop a cross image onto the skull eye area as the scale and position. Then go to effects and add basic 3D. I set the swivel to 23 degrees for a subtle tilt. Add a green screen subscribe video on top, scale, position and rotate to fit. In the effects panel, apply ultra key. Use the color picker to select the green and poof, it's gone. Add a tint effect. change the map both black and white to black set a keyframe for scale at zero move a few frames forward and bump it to 23 for a popping effect copy this video head back to the skull nest And place it between the two skull layers for make the subscribe video pop inside the skull. Back at the main sequence, delete the extra green screen layer. Now let's add some dynamic energy with the wiggle effect. I have got a free wiggle preset linked in the description. Go grab it. Apply the slow wiggle preset to all your layers. In effect controls, tweak the transform position values to your liking.
hit me sell at the background as well lower the grunge overlay opacity a bit for balance Finally, add a post-rise stamp effect to all layers. Now set the frame rate to tall for cinematic stop motion feel. And there you have it. And that's it ladies and boys and girls. If you love this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Check out these two videos right here and I will see you on my next video.